Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to do a problems based on integration using few basic formula. I'm just considering three basic formulas here. So that's what we are going to use and we are going to do the problems which are going to be quite simple. Um, let's start with that. I'm not giving you all the formulas together. Um, I'm just going to make it uh, like part by part. In this video, we are going to look into three formulas and using those four or three formulas only we would be doing the problem. So the first formula which we are going to work with is integral x to the power n dx. This is going to be equal to x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. And n is not equal to minus 1 because we know that entire function what we got will become um, not defined if n is, is equal to minus 1. And then second one, integral 1 by x dx is going to be equal to log base e of mod x plus c. And then third one, integral e to the power x dx is going to be equal to e to the power x plus c. So three formulas have introduced. One more formula also we will take into consideration. Integral a to the power x dx is going to be equal to a to the power x divided by log base e of a plus c. Now let's start with a problem, very simple problem. So here integrate x to the power 4 dx. If we observe the question, it is of the format of x to the power n dx. And it comes under the first formula. So n is equal to 4 here. So in that case, this is going to be equal to x to the power 4 plus 1 divided by 4 plus 1 plus c. I'm sorry. Plus c. So which is going to be x to the power 5 by 5 plus c. And then let's move on with this next question. Second question. Integral root x dx. Now when you observe what is your n here, n is equal to half. So now in this case, it's going to be x to the power half dx. How will I integrate? When I integrate, n plus 1, x raised to the power of n plus 1, which is going to be half plus 1. And the denominator also becomes half plus 1 plus c. And half plus 1 is nothing but 3 by 2. So I would be getting x2 raised to the power of 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 plus c. Now here 2 is there in the denominators, denominator, so that becomes a numerator. It becomes 2 by 3 x raised to the power of 3 by 2 plus 3. So that's it. The second question got over. Now let's move on with the third one. And this time I've given it as 1 by root x dx. Now when you observe the first one, the x raised to the power half, it was a positive. Now x is raised to the power minus half. So the power is acting as a negative. The n is negative here. So in this case, when I integrate, what I would be getting here, let me just make one more step, x raised to the power of minus half dx. Now when I integrate, I would be getting x raised to the power of minus half plus 1 divided by minus half plus 1, which is going to be equal to x raised to the power of half divided by half plus c. Now, 1 by 2 and the 2 lies in denominators denominator it becomes the numerator and I would be getting it as a 2 into x to the power half plus c which is nothing but 2 root x plus c done and then we will move on with the next one fourth one here we do have it's not a fraction which is there in the denominator uh, nature power. Uh, this time it's going to be 1 by x cube. It is an integer. If I bring it to the numerator, the power is going to be an uh, integer with a negative power. 
so let me just call it as negative power now how will we integrate what is our n is equal to it's minus 3 so in that case i would be having x raised to the power of minus 3 plus 1 divided by minus 3 plus 1 which is going to be x raised to the power of minus 2 divided by minus 2 plus c so minus 2 uh, this one and now we can do certain changes here i don't want my numerator to be with a negative power in that case i can write it as minus 1 divided by 2x square plus c this is better when compared to this one this one is better that's the reason we are writing it it should look elegant and then let's move on with the next question so this one a raised to the power of 3 log base a of x dx this is the question which has been given to us now here in order to solve this question we need to know logarithmic identity so let me just explain uh, one identity two identities which i would be using here the first one whenever we have m log base a of x or e of base e of x anything for this we have log base a of x raised to the power m okay now just by applying this identity here let's see the change it becomes a raised to the power of log base a x cube dx okay now the second identity of logarithm which i'm gonna apply is whenever i have a log base a of x it is gonna be equal to x so here whenever i'm having just observe a is there and the base a both are same something like this a raised to the power of log base a when i have like this and followed by x i would be getting that x alone so now in this case let's observe the change so this person would go away and what i would be left out with would be x cube dx so when i integrate x cube i would be getting n is equal to 3 so n plus 1 becomes 4 divided by 4 plus c okay one last question with the same type of prop properties or identities of logarithms we will use and we will do that so here we have integral e raised to the power of 5 log base e of x minus e raised to the power of 4 log base e of x divided by e raised to the power of 3 log base e of x minus e raised to the power 2 log base e of x dx now in order to solve this we would be using the logarithmic identities the first one m log base uh, m log base a of x is going to be equal to log base a of x bar m so be using that identity what happens is here i would be having e raised to the power log base e of x to the power 5 minus e raised to the power log base e of x raised to the power 4 divided by e raised to the power log base e of x cube minus e raised to the power log base e of base e x raised to the power 2 dx done and then whenever we are having something of this format let me just show it to you what exactly here this format whenever we are having see this e and the base e both are same and in that case what would happen is they would go away and what i would be left out with is 
x raised to the power 5 minus x to the power 4. I'm using this identity. Divided by x cube minus x square dx. So in this case, if I take out common from the numerator, x power 4 is common. In that case, I would be left out x minus 1. And then here x square is common into x minus 1 dx. Obviously, x minus 1, x minus 1 gets cancelled. And I would be left out with the integral x square dx. Even the cancellation happens here. So now when I integrate x square, I would be getting, because n is equal to 2, so x raised to the power 2 plus 1, that is 3 by 3 plus c. That's it. So I hope you understood using everything, whatever I have done here was using only um, the first formula, that is integral x raised to the power n dx. Now, if we have um, uh, like a fourth formula which we need to use, in that case, the fourth formula in the sense, integral a to the power x dx is equal to a to the power x divided by log base e of a plus c. Let's use that one. Um, for a change. So let's try this problem. Seventh problem integral e raised to the power x log base e of a dx. It's a very simple question. We are using the same identity. So when I use that identity, the first one, this one, m log base a of x is equal to log base a of x raised to the power m. Now in that case, e log base e of a raised to power x dx and after that the next property what i've told you when you use that in that case you would be left out with a to the power x dx and what is the integration we have a formula for that it's going to be a to the power x divided by log base e of a plus c directly we are applying it so I hope you understood with this. One more we will do of a similar sort. Um, here we would be using the same first property, uh, first integration formula. So here integral, it is e raised to the power a log base e of x dx. We have something like this. So now here. What would happen is, if I apply the logarithmic property of powers, I would be getting e raised to the power log base e of x raised to the power a dx. So now here I would be getting x raised to the power a dx. Now the integration in the place of n I have a, nothing else. So it's going to be x raised to the power a plus 1 divided by a plus 1 plus c. So with this, I will wind up with this video and in the next video, we would be using different formulas, even logarithmic formulas, everything we would be using of integration. Thank you.